Hi, good afternoon. Welcome to Cooking Uncovered. And um, this morning we're going to be making a bubble berry sour cream pie. Sophia is now adding the shortening. And you take the pastry to the point where it is about uh, quarter size. And this is how easy pastry making is. Very good. Okay, so it's about me about quarter size, still very floury, right? Now what do we now what do you do? Now Do you want to leave this on? Yes. The guard on so it doesn't spill over. What now do you do now? We add the wet ingredients. Okay. And what's in the wet ingredients? Um vinegar, egg, and iced water. Right. And of course, folks, you can get this recipe on the blog www.cookinguncovered.blogspot.com. There we go. Just a little bit more than a cup of liquid, right? Okay, way go with your mixer. Very good. And now Sophia knows that you mix it only a little bit until it starts to bang around, and then she stops. And that's how quick it is to make pastry, right? Yeah. Very good. There you go. So Sophia is making her pastry for her bumbleberry sour cream pie which she won. She won a prize at the county fair, so the Machosan County Fair. Uh, was that last year, Sophia? E this year and last year. And what pie did you make that time? Um, both this year and last year? Yes. Um, sour cream, um, strawberry rhubarb pie. Both times? Yes. Perfect. So this is a little adaptation, and we're going to call it bumbleberry because we're going to use a medley of fruits. So what I've done here is I've um, took the pastry and wrapped it in parchment, then put it in a freezer bag, and we're going to let it sit in the fridge for about half an hour. And, yeah. So the pastry has been in the fridge for about half an hour, so now Sophia is going to roll out her pastry for her pies. The trick with any pastry is to get it very even and very thin. You want thin pastry, very good. That's good. Yeah. Gently rolling, that's good. That's probably it, Sophia. Very good. So do you remember the trick of folding it over? Yep. Fold it in half. There you go. Bring your pie plate over. Now you've got your back to the camera again. <laughs> there you go. That's okay. That's all right, we'll get it. Don't worry about it. Push it in so that it, there's no gaps down there. Now what we're going to do is we're, uh, I'm going to take the knife that has lots of pastry on it and I am going to cut around so it's fine on the edges. to do is we're going to outline the thing which is called finger fluting. Finger fluting. Flute. Flute. Finger fluting. And while Sophia finger flutes her edges, it just makes it a little bit more decorative. Just a reminder that the vinegar in the pastry is such a necessary addition because it's the vinegar actually inhibits the gluten because if you want flaky pastry, you have to inhibit the gluten in the flour and the, the, um, the, vi the vinegar does that, plus the egg makes it, the pastry more flaky. And this recipe, of course, can be found on um, our blog, www.cookingoncovered.blogspot.com, a full recipe of the sour cream pie. Beautiful. Let's see that. Show it to the camera. That's lovely. Very nice. Okay, next is what? Oh, we're going to fill it. Um, Oh, we're going to put the berries in? <laughs> yeah, berries first. There you go. I think all those berries all go in. All these berries will go in. Yeah. We want it to be pretty high. Mm -hmm. Indeed. And those berries are? What do you have there? 
blueberry, um, ras blueberry, raspberry, strawberry, strawberry, and, and those are blackberries. Are no. what are those? These are Mar Marion berries or something. Mm, yes. Okay. So now you're you're now we're going to put our sour cream filling. So sour cream filling, which is sour cream, an egg, and flour and sugar. Basically, all of this filling shall go in. Want me to hold that over here? Here, let go. I'll hold it over here. How's that? Easier for you because it's a heavy. There you go. Perfect. Next goes the the crumble, which is which is um, brown sugar, some melted butter, and flour. Just gonna sprinkle this on top, all over. Good. Now use it up. There you go. Okay, leave it high. Leave it high. There you go. Perfect. And that goes into a 350 uh, degree oven for about an hour. 50 minutes to 60 minutes till it rises up. Until the juices start to flow. So that's beautiful, Sophia. This is a bubble berry pie that is I just made today. And these are my ribbons that I've won. Um, this is this one is the grand prize overall, and this is the best side pie, which both of them are the grand prize over the prize overall. Thank you for joining up, joining us on Cooking Uncovered.